Life is a far more peculiar experience than I ever could have imagined. I've been doing a lot of thinking and reflecting during our two-week separation. And I have to say that we're just not working out as a couple. In order for a couple to have a long-term relationship, there needs to be something extraordinary. We were extraordinary. We had that special spark. Oh, no, no, no. You, you did. Yes, yes, we did. We bring each other to life. I've been dead inside since you forced us into this two-week separation. I'll go to a doctor and I'll prove it. I'm clinically dead inside. No, honey. Just look at this objective. When we're together, I'm alive. I'll, I'll have the doctors hook me up to the monitors, and, and without you, it'll be a, a straight, dead line. But if you let us stay together, It'll beep and light up, and then we won't have to deal with a funeral and, and, and a memorial. You don't want to be responsible for a funeral and a wake and all that crap. Ben, calm down. Take it easy. Take a deep breath. You're not the same person. You've been changed. You're a pod person! She knew my favorite movie, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the 1978 version. My favorite singer-songwriter, Lobo. My favorite food, tomatoes in all sizes, shapes, and forms. My favorite astronaut, Buzz Aldrin. What's not to love about Buzz? My favorite fault line, the San Andreas. The big badass fault line, but that's not my fault. You know me pretty damn well. Of course I do. We're best friends. You don't have to be married or in love to know someone. You and Melissa will carry on with your friendship. But what about finding someone to love? What have I been telling you all these years? Lots of things. You don't need a romantic partner to be happy. You've got to stop looking outside yourself to find that meaning and happiness. You've got everything you need inside your soul. My soul got sucked out. Remember? You need to get in tune with your spiritual center. I don't even think I have a spiritual fringe, much less a spiritual center. Trust me, you do. Hello, I'm Eugene Legal. That's W-I-N-K-L-E. And it truly is a Star Trek universe of love. Last week I imparted to you how the Prime Directive would have kept us from the Vietnam War. Think of all the lives that would have been saved and all of the Starfleet-aged young men that were drafted and were prevented from being exposed and enlightened <laughs> by the original classic Star Trek. And what of the soldiers that didn't live long enough to see the next generation, Star Trek movies, or Deep Space Nine? He's truly inspiring. We're so blessed to have him on the very same public access channel that we work for. Now that Gene, the late great Gene Roddenberry, whose ashes are circling the globe, we almost look to the sky and feel his greatness descend upon us. The only way for man to reach salvation is through the glorious teachings of Gene, Gene Roddenberry. We must open our hearts to the Roddenberry element. If I send out for the Roddenberry element, do you think it will take the usual four to six weeks to reach me? No, oh, of course not, you Klingon. Everyone knows. It'll be beamed directly into you. Unless I accidentally leave my shields up. Now you're catching on. The only way for man Never hesitate to spread the word and reach out to others and unite. You pathetic moron. We shall live our glorious lives according to the Prime Directive. 
Today I'll be reading from the script entitled The Doomsday Machine, which can be compared to today's nuclear weapons. Once again, Star Trek predicted the future 100% accurately. <laughs> Santa Fe, New Mexico has been suffering from extreme growing pains and is no longer the quaint, charming small town it once was, thanks to an overly aggressive marketing and tourism campaign by the Santa Fe Chamber of Commerce, the historic town transformed from this 1996 tourist village to the overdeveloped skyline of today. That's incredible. Not really. The real estate developers probably consulted with the spiritual energy experts down there. Santa Fe is one of the major, universal, power transformation chakra focal points on Earth. The developers sent out their vision and energy to the universe. And it came back a thousand times beyond their wildest expectations. So if I go to Santa Fe and send my energy out to get the perfect woman, a thousand beautiful babes might walk back into my arms? Only if you eat your vegetables and clean behind your ears. Huh. Hmm. You still seem out of it. Hmm. I know what you need. I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 